But still, you need to prep, prep, sorry. <laughs> Prepare. Hi, Vera! Hi, Nam! <laughs> so, this is Vera, and today we'll be talking with her. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> So Vera here, she got into two of the best labs in the United States for her postdoc. So Vera, tell us. <laughs> and she's a PhD student at the University of Delaware. Yeah. And she's from China. Yeah. Hi. Do you want to say what, uh, what area, what is your specialization in PhD? Like, Oh, uh, I'm a material science uh, engineering. And did you do your undergraduate in chemistry? No, my undergraduate uh, is also, was also a, a material science engineer. Material science? And did you do a master's in China? No, no, I didn't do a master's. My hands are freezing. Yeah. But people. Really do these cold. things for <laughs> the video. <laughs> what made you an ideal candidate? Um, first, li first, I would like to say I was super, super lucky. <laughs> when you search for a job, uh, you need to make sure the job specification matches you very well. Uh, there is really a, a job specification. So they will list what is the qualified skills you need to have or what is the extra. Okay. So you first, of course, you need to make sure you match this, you have this skill. And then, uh, oh, yeah, just the regular uh, application process, then you submit the application, and then you need a cover letter, and then you need to prepare yourself three recommendation letters if you uh, apply for a postal. Okay. Yes, so that you need to make sure your recommendations um, from uh, would be very convincible about your back, your research background and your personality and uh, your if you are a team worker because for a researcher teamwork is super super important. Okay, the references uh, you talked about, I believe one has to be from. Uh, from your supervisor, right? The three yes. references? Yeah, that is required. And what about the other two then? The other two, I mean, uh, it's your own choice. Okay. But the safe uh, choice will be uh, from your collaborators because okay. they know uh, your work, they know your research. Okay. Uh, for a post work. For a postdoc position, it's really like will help you a lot. But okay. some people will go to their friends because okay. uh, your employer will also want to know your personality. And okay. Your so yes. in postdoc, you have to like talk about your teamwork experience as well, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yes. I mean, uh, nowadays you cannot do your scientific problem by your own. So yeah. Okay. Like, yeah. And do you want to talk about like your papers, like how many papers you have or... Oh yeah! <laughs> Which journals? Don't and, be shy! Uh, She's I'm, quite I'm proud shy. of myself about that. Uh, I have uh, six um, peer-reviewed uh, papers. Which is um, uh, which has very good reputation in our research area. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not that... <laughs> Uh, it's not the best ones, but uh, it's very, it's very good journals, um, and I got very, pre I got pretty high citation. Oh, so, that's really nice. Yeah. So, uh, what are the journals? Can you share the names? Oh yeah, of course. But uh, it's very specific to my research area. If you <laughs> yeah. got lost, um, I'm sorry about that. Uh, it's like the physics review B, physics review materials, okay. and the applied physics, <laughs> like letters, yeah, like that. Oh, okay. That's, that's awesome, Vera. Okay, Vera, so uh, how many rounds of interviews? And what do they basically ask? You need to prepare a short presentation 
approximately approximately ten minutes. Ten minutes of presentation. Yes. Okay. Uh, but um, make sure your slides are clean, short, and uh, highlight your skills and your research. Usually, there will be just uh, one or two interviewers mm -hmm. for the first round, mm -hmm. and then uh, you uh, like averagely speaking, you wait one or two weeks. Uh, for their notification, if you are good to go to, to go to the second round. Okay. So, but for the second round, it's uh, uh, it's very challenging. Oh, why is that? Uh, because in this uh, in this round, there will be a committee. Mm -hmm. oh, really, the postdoc committee is that big? How many people? Oh yeah, I mean, usually it's like the committee is that size, like eight to ten, twelve. Yeah, that's the size. Eight to ten. Eight to ten wow. or twelve. First, uh, you need to prepare a presentation mm -hmm. which is about uh, approximately forty minutes. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, but the interview process, the whole interview process will take uh, about two hours. Okay. So what happens is um, the committee will uh, keep. Uh, ask, ask asking questions during your, your presentation. Two hours. Yeah. Wow. It's like I mean uh, there are yeah. there are ten committee members, mm. so each of the, <laughs> each of them have one question. It is like ten questions, and uh, it, yeah, it takes time to answer questions. Sometimes it will also involve the discussion. Oh. Right? So okay. it's not like uh, uh, give a number. The question mm. you need to give an uh, explanation of how you would approach to that answer okay and how basically let's say how you approach your problem yeah. yeah and is it all the questions are based on your research right no like behavioral question oh uh, no i mean uh, the behavioral questions usually uh, comes to, come to the end of the interview mm -hmm. There will be um, several, two or three behavior questions. Sarah, how long was your PhD and when did you exactly start looking for a postdoc? Uh, for me, till now, it's like five years. Mm -hmm. But usually, uh, it takes more than five years, probably six. I started uh, September 2020, oh. approximately. I mean, Oh, probably a little bit early, sorry about that. Uh, ah. Yeah, August, yeah, in the, after some time. Okay. Tell me, how did you start looking? Did you start looking in LinkedIn? So, first, I have the specific uh, research uh, area I want to do. Mm -hmm. So, I want to do machine learning related um, application to material science research. Mm -hmm. Uh, therefore, that's that's basically the keyword, right? When you apply, when you uh, search for a job. Okay. So I need to put machine learning and material science and uh, like a postdoc. Basically, is the keywords for me. Okay. So and did you uh, do it on LinkedIn? Uh, I I did it like yeah I certainly did it uh, on LinkedIn. Uh, I also uh, searched on other platforms. Because for postal, uh, you you know uh, which lab is good uh, for your postal, right? So, so how do you know? Is it through while doing your PhD? You know? Which yeah, lab? I mean, uh, if you are in your research area, you you pretty know your uh, community very well. Okay. So yeah. So you know the senior guys, uh, the I mean the senior scientists. Okay. Who got a lot of uh, citations, extra, extra. Okay. This this is. Crazy. Yeah. Oh, Vero! My shoes are very slippery. Oh, probably you can try that way. No, it's okay. I'm here. I just need your hand. My hand? It is okay. Thank you so much for joining me on this video. Oh, <laughs> and thank you everybody for being with us. And if you like, Whatever I have shared, please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for next week where I'll share more tips and tricks.